What's up, traders? Uh, finishing up the day. Up 18.30. I took two trades today. And um, I'm going to walk while I'm ahead. Thursday were not are not my most uh, productive trades, I would have to say. If I look at my trades here. Um, Thursday, I never finished over 1K. And then I have losses. So Thursday is definitely challenging for me. So I did, I did see the, you know, there, when I woke up this morning, I saw like five tickers that are just, they just sucked. And uh, the only trade, the, the trade that I did great on was uh, buying um, BTTX this morning. So BTTX had news after I saw like five tickers, you know, uh, you had, uh, the, the daily is kind of crappy because the, resistance here is 236 and uh, you know 52 week high so we we're, we're brushing against this daily this daily and this daily so I, I didn't have great expectations of BTTX uh, it, it did have news here this morning I don't remember the pivotal uh, positive endpoints results which is pretty three out of four stars uh, BTTX uh, seven milli flow Nova and um, and I was buying it in this, as I see this one, I was looking at it dressed right at the morning as I was streaming. And then I was like, bam, here. And then I bought it at like 205 and uh, pretty much took a very consistent 20 cents a share, 205. And then I sold it 224. It was a great trade. And then I sold it into this trade, 226 over here and two candles. Took about two minutes. I could have held it longer. I could have sold half. I wasn't really excited. I should have sold the other half in like 235 area, I think. Just looking at the daily resistance there, 235. Because it, you know, and I could have bought the first one minute to make a new high at 222. And I could have rebought it on the downtrend break. But, but I was just, I just looked at like five tickers and most of them suck. So I took, I, I tried to rebuy it with, sec, with second size again at BTTX with 2K instead of 6K. And then I sold it and I lost. My my other trade was TBLT today. TBLT was first first day to make a new high here. TBLT. TBLT's first day to make a new high. The stock release news was on my pre-market scanner. Gap top straight into the daily high here of yesterday's daily high of 518. I bought that break 518, sold into 555, bought it again. Sold it again, and now I, I technically could have bought around VWAP, 535, 560, but I just didn't want to overstay my welcome. If I look at the pre-market gainers, those are the only two movers that I saw so far. I traded both of them. I took about, you know, 50% of their move. I traded very conservative, and, uh, and I made my daily quota, and it's 929, and... You guys enjoy. Anyway, so that will be it for me. I don't want to mess around with these algos on Thursdays. TBLT could go to six, no doubt about it. And uh, I just um, I just took my predictable thirty cents a share here. Um, I I sh I could have possibly made I could have possibly held another half here because it could go to six. I mean, Ace Hardware Store is a good. Um, it is a good, uh, good uh, no you know, news, but I just, um, I'm not feeling it. I don't want to risk it. I had two movers, made money on both of them, and uh, I just took my predictable 10% there, 5% there. So actually, actually, I, I could have made a bit more on this one on uh, BTTX. BTTX gave a predictable 30% because uh, if I were going to buy it at $2 and held it 260 it gave a predictable 30% 30, <clears throat> 30 gain here if I just held for a little longer. But, you know, I just wasn't feeling comfortable about this chart. I wasn't feeling comfortable. It's Thursday. I wasn't feeling comfortable. There was a lot of people in the chat and uh, it just I just felt this extra little pressure there so I took it off sooner. I tried to rebuy it, and then um, it ended up working. If I rebought it again here, I just was not. Uh, I didn't feel confident about these plays, because uh, um, you know, 
you, you, you have a lot of falling knives. If I looked at my top gainer here uh, this morning, uh, Jack, you, you have a lot of fluffy, sketchy companies just gapping up, going nowhere. So, so I had like, I had like four out of five stocks that I looked at. I had to dodge bullets and that comes from my experience in looking and tracking my trades and my losses and avoiding those. And I took the ones that worked out and hell, this TBLT could go to six for all I know. It could break 571 because that's the pre-market high. It could, it could, it could just break through 570 and hit towards six at the open. Because people are, you know, this is the most exciting stock for people right now. Uh, so you have a pre-market high break of 570. We have about six minutes till the market opens. But, you know, if I took this trade, I, I bought it, if I buy it at like five, 570 and sell it five, six dollars, that would probably be a good trade. 570. TBLT. It, yeah, there we go. It's going. But as we get closer to the open, I just get cold feet. I don't know why is it. There we go. 580. It's going to six dollars. Yeah, it's going six dollars. So and then it flush. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I lock it up. See, you see that? You see that? Look at that. 570 to 581. And then and then we have a very much indecision candle flush there. Look at that. That's that's just not. I mean, you're you're. You're you're uh, flirting with falling knives here. This is a this is a kind of a fake out here. I mean, we're you're you're playing with fire if you're trading this thing. So as the higher the thing goes, the the less the less size you're gonna you're gonna need to. This is it. Look at it. Look at that indecision candle. So I'm just I'm just feeling just. I'm just, uh, I, I, I like to buy it when it makes the first daily to make a new high. And that's the setup I teach. And I have setups. And um, over here, it's just, <clears throat> you're playing with fire. It's already up from 520 to 570. It's already made 50 cents, 50 cents a share. So buying it here is just going to be, you're, you're very close to the top. But then again, it just keeps going. Make sure you give this video a like. Uh, subscribe to my uh, to my uh, stuff here. As these prices are gonna go up in price. Two days, 14 hours, 13 minutes. It's only 200 for um, for six months to get all my knowledge. Uh, this is we've already been going through all this. Nova. And uh, that's about it. And I'm just a little a little scared. If this is gonna hit six dollars or not, I think it's gonna get hit six dollars. Do I know it's gonna hit six dollars? I just don't know. So, I'm, I, just, I just took my predictable gain. It goes to six dollars, doesn't it? There you go. It's going. So I'll leave it as that. I'm going to walk. I'm gonna see if this this gaps up to six thirty now. Just for the, just for the, there we go, 590. Very nice. Congratulations if you took this trade. Um, I hope you guys made money. I sure did. I could have rebought it. I was thinking of buying it here, rebuying it here, 550. Thought about buying it here too. Look at that, it hit six dollars. Good work. So I'm leaving money on the table today. But I'm definitely very good at my executions. I'm definitely good at good at my entries. My entries have been spot on with with these things, but my exits, I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm just not. My exits haven't been that great. So it's always good to leave money on the table then, um, then to you know have a nice flush. So I'm I'm impressed. Five ninety seven on that candle, pretty good. We got one minute till open. So it hit six dollars. I was thinking it'll do six dollars, just based on the Ace Hardware news. Ace is a pretty big company, and this is a micro float of two million shares. So, congratulations if you took this trade. 
and we're just gonna Nova. We're just gonna hang around here for like another five minutes, see how high this thing goes before it's probably gonna reject. And uh, and uh, we have about one minute to go. 10, 50, 40, Nova, and I'm already um, I'm already out for the day. That is, this has been a great trading trading day, despite the fact that my Thursdays are terrible. Very low stress and very uh, straight to the point. And I didn't keep, I didn't put myself in trouble, and I didn't chase things. Pretty, pretty staying pretty disciplined, and not hanging around during the chop feast. So that hit about a high of six dollars. Congratulations. Uh, and we're gonna wake up tomorrow and do it again. And uh, Nova, that's kind of how it is. All right, BTTX six dollars hit there. Let's see how let's see if it actually, if it actually goes over six dollars. I just want to see if it does. Jack, uh, does it go over six dollars? Repu, how high does it go over six dollars? That's what I want to know. Is it gonna go to six dollars and just die off, or just go to six fifty? I just I just want to make a mental note how high this thing go went for my five twenty uh, entry. My entries are spot on. I just want to know if this thing is gonna go to six fifty or just die off. I think it's gonna go red. TBLT. Five ninety is the five five ninety four is the low of this candle. Look at that two million in candle there two million two million on the one minute. I'm impressed. Does it go to six fifty? I'm impressed. Six thirty there. Congratulations if you took advantage of it. I um, I'm working on um. You know maybe I should have left a bit Jack. In, in there. Afco. I I definitely should have left a little bit in there. Thanks for the TBLT idea. Welcome. Hope you guys made money. I'm Audi. Uh, looks like it hit five twenty nine. Um, Audi 529. Good luck out there. See you guys tomorrow live stream. Subscribe to my channel and like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow on 7. And don't forget to sign up to my website. Link in the comment description below. See you.